Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. If you're craving those amazing cheese balls at your favorite Brazilian steakhouse, look no further. I have the recipe for you and it's perfect. Follow all the steps and you'll get the most amazing Brazilian cheese balls. Those yummy little things are so easy to make. You're gonna start by heating three quarters of a cup of milk. Add your favorite oil. I'm using here vegetable oil, but you can absolutely use olive oil. And I'm adding one third of a cup. I let them come to almost a boil. Just as it starts to give me the first bubble, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now it's time to add the flour. And I have half a teaspoon of salt I added on top of the flour. And I'm using tapioca flour and this is gluten-free one and one-third of a cup and like I said the heat is off I'm gonna mix until they're well incorporated it's gonna look weird and lumpy but don't be discouraged that's how it should look like leave it for about five minutes you want it to cool down a little bit before you add one large egg Add the egg on top of the mixture and mix with the rubber spatula or get in there with your hands. Just make sure everything is well, well incorporated. You can't over mix this batter because it's gluten free. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese. 40 grams of Parmesan and 80 grams of mozzarella. I've made this in the past using other kinds of cheese like sharp cheddar or pepper jack or Monterey or any kind of cheese that's dry. I'm gonna line a pan with parchment paper and use just a touch of vegetable oil on my hands. I'm gonna shape the balls just like so. You can make them as big or as small as you want. This is about right. This is gonna make about 12 balls. I bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Mine took about 18 minutes in the oven. You can top them with a little bit of extra Parmesan or you can leave it out. I wanna remind you that I leave all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and follow me on social media. The links are going to be in the description box below. Pange Queijo is the name of these amazing little beauties. So cheesy and so good. These are best enjoyed warm. I hope you give them a try soon. So, so cheesy and so good. And until next time, bon appétit!